the dishonest media, among the world's most dishonest people, by the way. It's not even a big story. Uh, Donald Trump earlier telling his supporters that the mainstream media didn't devote much coverage to the issue of interim DNC chair Donna Brazil leaking CNN debate questions to the DNC while also serving as a CNN contributor. And he's right. The major broadcast network spent a collective 10 seconds covering Donna Brazil yesterday. ABC News dedicated one minute and 25 seconds to negative coverage of Trump, but only 65 seconds to the Clinton FBI investigation. And none of the networks covered the Clinton campaign WikiLeaks matter. Joining me now to discuss, Robin Byro, Christian White, and, and Mark Serrano. Uh, Mark, I, I got to go to you on this first. And by the way, there's a, a, another new WikiLeaks bombshell that says John Podesta, I mean, sorry, John Harwood of CNBC sent Podesta an email warning him about Dr. Ben Carson. And I think attached were or some videos, uh, videos of an interview that he had done with him. So, uh, it, it probably isn't just Donna Brazil, right? Oh, absolutely, Charles. Look, uh, the Democrats and the mainstream media are, you know, two peas in a rotten pod together, an establishment rotten pod. The uh, mainstream media has really shed all pretense of objectivity in this race, Charles, and that shows with all this collusion that's taking place between, you know, big. Uh, so, uh, celebrity media people like John Harwood and directly with the campaign leadership for Hillary Clinton. But, you know, there's a really fundamental question here, Charles. You've got the media in collusion. You clearly have got the Obama Department of Justice suppressing FBI investigations to rig this election as well. Let me ask you something at this point. Where are the Democrats who are going to stand up and say, we made a mistake, we picked a flawed, corrupt candidate who will be bad from America because she will be on investigation from day one. Where well, are they? No I, reasonable Democrats will do that. I can't answer the question, even though I do have John Podesta's emails from all of these WikiLeaks. But, Christian, you know, right. it, it, it is amazing that, uh, you know, the, the sort of game of uh, one-upsmanship and, to, to Mark's point, uh, you know, imploring GOP leadership to disavow Donald Trump, and yet no one stands up and says, hey, we've obviously mm -hmm. uh, have been a cesspool of hypocrisy. Uh, I mean, this is more than just friendly, friendly, friendly friendships. We're talking about advance warning and help. Right. It, it goes to not just sort of cheerleading, which we've always suspected, and people have always looked at the media as being more partial to the left, but actually to colluding to it. It builds on what was revealed earlier this year when a high National Security uh, Council White House official, Ben Rhodes, said of his own friends in the media that they basically know nothing. They have no experience other than serving on political campaigns, uh, often rooting for the Democrats in that campaign. And now we just see the snowball and snowball creates a tremendous business opportunity because I think you're going to see an implosion in a lot of these media um, organizations after the election. I mean, why do people want to waste time and money being lectured to and also being lied to? What's being done here isn't just liberal and progressive. It's fundamentally dishonest. They're concealing truth from their own consumers. You know, here's the thing, uh, Robin. We know, of course, that uh, there's, there, they share the same ideology for the most part. Uh, the media has uh, overwhelmingly donated to progressive and Democratic candidates like 98%. But this crosses the line big time, doesn't it? Charles, you have to look at the facts, though. Donald Trump benefited from three, th over three we're not, we're billion dollars in earned I, media. No, no, no. Now you're conflating the issues. I, I, was it, so do you think it's okay for someone uh, at, a, at a media organization to give advance notice to a presidential candidate against a rival or rivals? Do you think that's kosher? You no, think that's absolutely not. I, I, no, that is absolutely wrong, and I'm glad that she resigned, honestly. That, that's wrong. We need to call that out. That is, that is inherently wrong, and I'm glad that Donna Brazil stepped down. What, what uh, about but, Podesta? Should he say anything about this? I know maybe with a few days to the election, because he's the center of all of this. He's the guy who got most of this information, and, and most people feel, of course, that he passed it on. I agree. Uh, but from a Democratic strategist's point, no, they should not discuss this until after the election. Right now, we need to talk about issues that are actually affecting Americans. They still want that red meat. We're still waiting. All we're continuing to hear about are Hillary's emails, but they want well, to know about the issues. That's just well, silly. The good that's news, just silly. The, well, hold, Mark, the good news is that yeah. they're not here. The Democrats aren't here about WikiLeaks or the FBI investigation or Donald Brazil uh, on ABC, CBS, and NBC. So that's not all that the American public is hearing, right? 
that's the point. It, it, these are acts of omission on the part of the media, Charles, where they are refusing to cover corruption scandals that could, by the way, if Hillary Clinton wins, could tear this country apart in scandal if she's under investigation by the FBI as the sitting president-elect. Look, with Donald Trump right now scandal. is within... No, 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 no. Scandal is the media not covering the true stories. Donald Trump right now is within three electoral votes in real clear politics average away from Hillary Donald Clinton. Trump is pending okay? a he's, rape he's, case he's right against near a 13 year her, old. You, well, okay, that's what you want to talk about. Is that the red meat you're talking about, Robin? Are those the issues you're talking that's, about? No, that's you just talk that's... about you're missing issues in this campaign, and you talk about womanizing. The media is ignoring the real issues because they won't cover corruption. Which is now being demonstrated across other media, his alternate sexual media. Assault and by the way, guys, women. hold on one his second. You know, here's the thing, guys. It's, it's, women. It's, the media, you know, listen, the, the media covers what they want to cover, but we're talking about something even a lot more egregious, a, a sort of a, a solemn promise or, or some sort of, you know, when you become a journalist, there's, there's a certain kind of responsibility that, that comes along with that. And, and we've got two examples here where that was shattered big time. We've got to leave it there. Thank you all very much. Appreciate it.